Welcome! The standard textbook equation for lift includes the critical factors that affect lift, such as aircraft velocity, air density, wing area, and the lift coefficient. All these factors also affect the amount of air displaced down by the wings and how fast the wings accelerate this air downwards to create a downward force. The equal and opposite force pushes the airplane up. This means that the physics of lift explained by Newton's laws of motion is consistent with the current textbook equation for lift. So what? Newton's laws of motion solves an old conundrum. Specifically, according to the textbook equation, lift is proportional to the square of the aircraft velocity. For example, if aircraft velocity doubles, then the lift generated quadruples, and the airplane can carry four times as much mass. The problem is that until now, no one has provided an adequate explanation of the physics for this relationship. It is unclear exactly how vertical lift is related to horizontal velocity, as these parameters are in different directions. Luckily, Newton's laws of motion can easily explain this riddle. The explanation for this is straightforward. Firstly, when the airplane's horizontal airspeed doubles, then it will travel twice the distance each second. And therefore, this will double the downward force. Secondly, the airplane's momentum will double due to its higher airspeed. And therefore, the air will be accelerated downwards to twice the velocity. In total, four times the downward force is created. And therefore, four times the lift will be generated. This solves the conundrum by explaining the relationship between aircraft velocity and lift. In summary, the Harrier, while flying twice as fast, flies through twice the amount of air. Due to its greater momentum, the Harrier then accelerates this air downwards over twice as fast. In total, four times the downward force, and therefore, four times the lift will be generated. No other theory of flight provides a satisfactory explanation for this. That's it!